Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak on iOS 7.1.1 The supported devices will be the iPhone 4 This is due to the only uh, iDevice that's supported by the LimeRain exploit So to jailbreak your iPhone 4 you're going to need three pieces of software I'll have links to all three of these in the description And to get started you're going to have to connect your iPhone 4 Which should be running on iOS 7.1.1 I'll just show you now you can see it is on 7.1.1 so once you have this you're going to connect it to your PC after you've downloaded the three pieces of software iTunes may open just exit out of this okay and now it's going to ask you um, to connect your iPhone 4 and click jailbreak to begin so I've connected my iPhone 4 and I'm going to press jailbreak and it's going to ask you to put your device in DFU mode now this is very simple you're going to make sure that your phone is on and you're going to hold down the power and home button for a total of 10 seconds once you see the screen has turned off you're going to let go of the uh, power button and keep holding the home button until you hear a further um, sound from your PC after you've heard this, it says DFU device found and if iTunes opens again just exit out of this, not a problem and it's just identifying our device and it's currently exploiting with Lime Rain. As you can see, Java Development Kit has opened, which is the additional program you need to download for this to work. Okay, and now you just need to be patient and let it complete the process. Any further instructions will be on the Geek Snow um, software. Oops, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. So now it's just rebooting the device. Now it's gonna ask you to put your device in the FU mode again, which is what we did earlier on. So again, we're going to hold the power and home button for 10 seconds until the screen turns off. Once we've done this, you let go of the power button. And keep, oops. You may fail to do this, so just retry. Hold, bo hold both buttons once it's turned off you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until you hear a further noise ok now let go and now it's booting with open snow so just let the process complete going to take a while so just be patient now when you get to this screen that's when you know you're at the right place this is the longest process um, so just wait for it to complete
Okay, and now once your device is booted, um, just let the process finish. As it, as you can see on the Geeks Note software, it still says waiting for the device to be ready. This will uh, take a lot, so just be patient and wait. Okay, and your device will finally reboot after a few moments. So remember, just be patient and keep waiting. Okay, now we're going to put our device in DFU mode one last time. So power and home button for 10 seconds. Okay, then let go of the power. Failed, let's try again. Practice makes perfect. Let go of the power. Keep holding the home until you hear the noise. There we go. Remember, keep following the instructions on the Geeks Now software. And now it's done, so we can uh, focus on the phone now. Once you see that it says done, you are safe to unplug the phone. Okay. So now we can focus on the phone. Okay, after it's booted, uh, you can slide to unlock. And we should scroll over and we will see Cydia. So once you open Cydia, it's going to take a while to load the file system, but eventually this will um, load, and once it's done so, your device will respring and your device will be jailbroken. Just to give you a little uh, bit of notice, this is a semi-untethered jailbreak, which means every time your device does switch off, you'll need to... Uh, you'll need to plug it back into your PC and open the Geek Snow app and once you've opened the Geek Snow app you're going to need to uh, boot your phone tethered again because once your phone turns back on it will have limited functionality so once you connect it to the PC 
you'll press the iPhone 4 uh, GSM or whichever device you have depending on which country you live in and from this you do, your device will uh, restore full functionality I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember all links will be in the description any questions please leave a comment and I will get back to you and stay tuned for more videos